You're most welcome to Jimmyism Total Motor Channel. Now I have always um, appreciated the fast fire APS cannon. Why is I've mostly made a rapid fire APS? But I wanted to see how fast of a fire rate I could do in a turret that's you know still functional and absolutely usable while not maybe super cheap. So basically what I come up with is this little dome turret called the uh, Shedder and it's, uh, it has a fairly high fire rate. I got it up to 90,000 RPM and I don't know what's, you know, it says the rate of fire is 90,000 rounds per minute uh, but when we go into like this cannon here, we can see on the APS that the max fire rate is set to 2400 and I have no idea if we can exceed this limit or not because it's so fast it's hard for me to notice like a difference with uh, 24,000 rounds per minute versus uh, like 90,000 rounds per minute because when I um, well, we can do this like test. So let's say that if you put it to 2400, it will be completely free. If you set it to zero, it would be unlimited, but you can't do that. So we set this to just below 2400. And this, I guess, should be locked to this. And we can force gauge and hope that it might lock it somehow. I don't know. Uh, the other cannon is, uh, of course, this one is set as uh, 2400, um, so that's all nice, and uh, you know, then it maybe is unlimited. I don't really know if you can go over this limit, but because the cannon itself, it says it has a rate of fire of 90,000, like both of them do say this. So uh, it's a little bit strange to me. In any case, uh, the issue thing, the issue also is that I don't think the game can render the sound of the shells like this fast anyways. And I don't think um, we can render the projectiles this fast either. Uh, so, yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. The only thing I could imagine is possibly if we set it up like this. If we set up a little wooden panel here perhaps we could kind of test the fire rate. So 90,000 uh, rounds per minute is of course insane, um, if it's even possible. If anyone knows, please tell me if, it, if it's even like possible. But uh, I've made some other little bit more functional uh, turrets with this uh, as a base, where I basically changed the loadout uh, and balanced them up to make some really good other cannons. We'll look at them later. But first, I just want to show. I just want to show this can and go brr, or how we can say. So let's uh, let's just let let you just see this. You can. Who knows? And to me, this looks kind of similar. So if you look by the tracers, uh, I would say that it's locked two thousand four hundred. If we look at the damage here, though, the one of the uh, one of them should like destroy much faster. Oh, I'm in God mode. Excuse me, like this. Try to be straight. Okay, it's the same. Uh, this leads me to conclude it's probably locked to two thousand four hundred, but uh, well, who knows. Um, and of course, uh, 2,400 rounds per minute is a lot, but I would really want to have that 90,000. And it might also be a hardware limitation. Uh, you know, this computer I'm recording this on is not the best computers, as you probably see that I don't have the settings the highest. Uh, so it's possible you can get a f higher fire rate on another computer, perhaps. <laughs> because I notice when I fire this at targets, I can clearly see that some of the shots damaged isn't like uh, acted out upon. It, it doesn't like happen. It's like it's uh, ignored because it's just too fast. 
Anyways, I think we should turn back God Mood on on my little platform and we should spawn a little target so that we can kind of just, uh, you know, test it out a little bit. So, um, do, 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 do. I think it was this one. Grouper, I want to spawn. And, uh, like, <laughs> to make it have a listed fire rate of 90,000, I had to make the smallest shell possible. So we have a frag warhead body and gun powder casing. And this was the most efficient loadout I could get, which means the range of this thing is pretty sad, as you can see. It just dips down there. We'll have to even wait for it to come into range before we can fire on it. So, uh, well, that's perhaps not optimal, but uh, <clears throat> basically made a turret more for fun, uh, but I also try to make it pretty well. So if you can look here, uh, we really try to like armor it properly. We have some detection on it as well. And if we just click P, you can see here. Uh, basically, the entire head is coolers stuck behind ish two meters of metal armor. So that's that. And then we have kind of uh, encasing of the firing pieces and uh, mantlets with heavy armor. And then we have like a heavy armor layer before we actually get down to the uh, rest of the turret. So inside here as you probably can understand, is two completely separate systems filled with uh, small ammo clips and uh, belt-fed outloaders, as well as coolers to keep this thing together. So I really tried to make it quite survivable, I hope. And, uh, well, I also did try to make you can see I, I've successfully made the front here smooth with mimics but the sides here you can see there is this little jack here and I couldn't solve it in a better way so that's that annoyed me because I spent two hours on making that I think maybe this was the wrong craft because this one just stays at a distance damn it now this was the one the steam works this uh, actually comes in close so we can get a chance to fire up on it which is what we want. So we can see my nice little turret working on there, firing its uh, th theoretical 90,000 runs per minute, which is probably just only 2,000 runs per minute. And oh, we're starting to get into range. Oh yes, we're finally getting some hits. No, we aren't. Oh yes, there we are. So I tested some different shells and I found frag to be the most effective while not very effective it's actually able to damage blocks and it's of course uh, 18 millimeter uh, rounds so uh, yeah to say it uh, you know easily this cannon is absolutely garbage in terms of what it costs and what it delivers but i think this is mostly because it seems to be an in-game cap of 2400 rounds per minute um, it seems like it but uh, even though we're kind of weak we're still able to damage uh, small uh, no not small like squishy ish large targets uh, with uh, our immense fire rate and just filling the space with frag and enough of them do get spawned but I think that a lot of the frag shells actually don't get spawned because they're just lost in uh, in the calculations it's um, Ugh, I don't think the game wants you to make uh, cannons like this, but here it is. I think <laughs> I think it's magnificent Just listening to this Insanity going on But since the shell is so slow and doesn't fly very far, it's actually worthless against uh, targets that fly fast. It's uh, pretty funny well I think we kinda supposedly got it down here, not much left. So let me spawn you the uh, competitors or 
uh, the, the stuff that actually uh, came out of this little experiment being efficient turrets and uh, <clears throat> seeing the fire rate of this thing and that we could like implement some gauge increasers and uh, still have an insane fire rate uh, I made this flak so uh, 70 millimeter flak no damn it let me load there we go so we can spawn this little flak right here beautiful and then we can go into of course I hidden the flak shell behind over here but it's basically uh, it's not it's not tiny it is a couple of four millimeter modules uh, since we can fit them in a one meter outloader uh, we have like uh, two warhead bodies uh, flak head and altitude fuse and we make them fly decently fast like 800 meters per second to be able to make them actually reach the target which is nice uh, and it's it's of course the same it's the same turret and uh, this one has a fire rate of uh, a theoretical fire rate of 3000 uh, shells per minute and I think it was not like hmm okay seems that the cooling is changed a little bit because I matched this up better before when I built it let me just uh, see if this is some weird stuff out of play into play okay cooling is still much higher okay so we can just uh, clear the clips perhaps see if there is something funny going on here or in most likelihood I just uh, optimized some stuff and forgot to upload it so I thought I matched it up well then I need to match uh, this turret up a little bit better later so that I have uh, enough coolers um, one easy way to do this would probably be to just decrease the barrels here and if we have uh, come on EPS if we have like three barrels then probably we can match them up oh maybe we can have just one barrel then cool well anyways uh, yeah then we can match this up perfectly cool so um, not six barrels we don't need extra cooling for this one then nice so a theoretical 3000 uh, RPM and um, as we probably understand it's probably not this fast. So let's just fire this thing up. Yeah, we're still shooting pretty fast. Probably exactly as fast as the last one. but <laughs> Actually faster than we can shoot in most likelihood. But this is of course flak and it's much more efficient. We can uh, we can spawn something like a little bit quicker. We can just begin with a uh, some planes. We'll just spawn three planes from the deep water guard and let it do its magic. And well, it just fills the air with explosions like real fast, and it uh, does pretty short work against uh, these aircrafts. It's already dead. Okay, what will we do now? This one? Oh no, that one already died. Oh. Anyways, let's spawn some more uh, sturdy targets so you can actually see it does something. So if we could just jump over to Steel Striders and we can just uh, spawn a couple of aircraft. I don't know exactly what this is. Let's just spawn them. And see what happens. Cool. This will be interesting. All right. It's a pretty large plane. Huh. It killed that plane, I guess. If something didn't dro drove into it, that is. But when I tested this before, the uh, airplanes from the Steel Striders tend to uh, get destroyed pretty quickly. If it's just like the larger ones, of course, this one has lambs. Oh yeah, this one has lambs. It just 
shoots many of the shells down. Glad we have a very high fire rate though, maybe it will do something. We see some blocks flying off there, but I'm not sure it's enough actually. So, yeah, those lamps, those lamps are real good. I don't think we can actually uh, take that one out with this type of uh, shells. We'll need something a little bit sharper. Yeah, now... Maybe? Anyways. We can try another plane here. Maybe we can have only one plane so we don't have that like lag thing going on. Oh, we have a hard time getting a getting some shots on this one. This is fast. Cool. Hard to follow. Here it is. Wow. Oh no. I think we actually need to refill its APS shells. It only has like uh, one clip attachment, so... Uh, and this, this plane has some issues flying now. Maybe I should... Uh, no, it's actually a pretty fast shell. Oh yeah, there we got it. <coughs> Fantastic. So um, that's basically for this like flak version, <coughs> which I clearly have to uh, balance the coolers on a little bit. So, since I had this huge turret, I think it. Uh, I thought it was a little bit, a uh, little bit silly to uh, not have some kind of decent uh, caliber to this as well. So I got and make this. Uh, Shedder T13 200 millimeter uh, with a hash load out. <clears throat> and as you can probably understand, this is uh, definitely much more efficient than the other ones. It actually deals some good damage. And, and, and yes, it is not that high fire rate. It absolutely does not have a faster fire rate than uh, theoretically possible. Uh, and then uh, practically possible because as I said I think there is a limit that locks it but you can listen to it it's uh, it sounds very nice yes this is what power sounds like very beautiful very nice sound very nice fire rate and this is uh, 800 rpm so uh, yeah that's pretty nice 800 rpm for a 200 millimeter cannon and uh, this is absolutely much more efficient than uh, any of the other i think that i don't know if uh, it will actually be quick enough to fire on these ones but we can just spawn a couple of uh, small oh yes oh yeah absolutely doesn't require many hits to take him down. Who are we shooting at? This one. This one. No, it missed. Come on. Oh no. <laughs> this is a little bit, uh, a little bit like two quick targets and you can see we do hit like uh, eventually and it basically uh, shoots them out of the sky with uh, one good hit oh there we go that one is out and this one has crashed fantastic yeah so uh, we should just uh, let me give some like airship or something we can uh, we can throw in a uh, atlas just for fun or something else. Here we go. Maybe something larger. I don't know about these very much, but let's just spawn them too. Very nice. I still haven't finished the campaign, which is a little bit sad. All right. 
right. This is probably uh, going to go pretty fast, I suppose. Where does it shoot that, though? Okay, now, okay. So this uses hash and uh, they hit and do good damage inside. So they spawn frag when they hit, but on the inside instead, which is pretty useful. Probably smart of uh, the deeps to have ooh, uh, <laughs> shields, since it does block many of our shots. But this is going down. Oh no, this has crashed now. Are we bouncing on the water? I think we are. Oh yes. But you can see it doesn't it doesn't take uh, many shots. And I did test it on the crossbones earlier just to see how long it would take. And it took a while for it to kill crossbones, like a couple of minutes, but uh, it's, you know, doable. I don't know, I think it costs maybe as much as the crossbones, so... Uh, but with a good, uh, good armor around it, I think it would survive for a good bit too. <clears throat> we can probably uh, test that too a little bit. Well... Um, having two airships at the same time is probably not the smartest thing for uh, FPS, but wow. You can just see it flies there. Very nice. I'm pretty happy with my uh, little turret in any case. I much uh, enjoy it. Let's, uh, let's see here if we turn off god mode. Will it shoot on my... No, it shoots on doesn't shoot on the turret. Well, let's just do like this. And let's just do some manual testings here. Okay, so we have an explosion. I don't know, we can set it to a little bit more powerful, like this. I don't know, maybe. We can just, uh, oof. Okay, that was maybe a little too powerful. Yeah, this explosion deleted the heavy armor. <laughs> um, but uh, then you can kind of see inside of here, and like the reason. <coughs> uh, we have two different cannons that is uh, basically very similar. They are exactly the same actually, and they're divided by a slab of heavy armor. So the thing is that we can kind of blow up one of them and have the other one still remain which is nice. And I don't remember what's kind of a good explosive damage to uh, have, but uh, well... Just a lot of smoke. We of course try to... It's only one layer of heavy armor on like the base of the turret, but it's uh, probably enough to withstand some frags and explosive shockwaves and stuff like that. And uh, the top part, well, of course it can be shot off, but uh, everything that's important, like the firing piece and the connection up from the base of the turret, is uh, surrounded and uh, encased in heavy armor. Well, well. Let us uh, pop in a Atlas for fun. You can see it. It does pretty short work of the poor Atlas. We can just look at this uh, magnificent turret. It's pretty nice. And I suppose that that is uh, indeed that. Our uh, theoretically 90,000 RPM uh, turret, EPS turret, that's uh, probably only. 2400. Well, this particular model is 800, but uh, I think it shoots pretty fast. So, hope you enjoy, enjoy this little uh, short showcase, and I'll see you next time. This is Jimodism, signing out.